Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today we'll start a series of videos showing you how to use the design database in PE Design 11. You can access the database at the wizard, selecting it right here, or we'll close the wizard. You can also go to option and choose design database. Before we go there, let's talk about what types of files can be displayed in the design database. Obviously, we can see the PES and DST files, but these are the other formats that you can see. You will notice that there are some things that you cannot see, such as ART, BP3, or ZIP files. ZIP files need to be unzipped. Let's go on to the design database. I already have it open. You'll notice that I have a folder that has is off of my C drive. And if I go into that folder, which is 2500 bonus designs, and I select one of the folders, we'll choose frames, or I intended to choose fruit and vegetables. We'll wait a moment. But here are the frames. You will notice that I can see each one of the, the folders, but I cannot see all of the folders that are under the bonus designs. And that's one thing to keep in mind. We'll select another one and we'll go into birds. There are several views that you have. If you notice, we have the typical menu where there are commands off the, of the menu bar. And we'll go over these commands as we go through this series. You'll also see that we have options where we can select the system unit. Right now I'm in inches. And then we also have the online help if you need to have it. You have certain icons that are on the toolbar as well. And some of those are grayed out depending on what you have selected, just like anything else with the software. This is called your folder view over here on the left. That can be moved by moving it over like this, just very similar to the layout and editing. And then on this side that I'm on right now, this is our content view. We also have what's called a writing view. I'll share that in another video. I'll also share how to search in the other video as well. So today we'll focus on some of the basics to get you familiar with the software so that you can move around in it. The first thing that I want to show you is that you can have different views. We're looking at the large thumbnails, but you can also look at the small thumbnails. You can scroll up and down using the sliders over on the right hand side and you can do the same thing looking at your folders. The folder that's selected is, has highlighted with a dark blue. Let's go back and look at the larger view. Now let's select this little design here that has the eaglet. And the first thing I want to do is select it once with my left mouse button. I'll right click and choose preview. This shows me what this would look like when it's stitched out. I can choose close. I'll go ahead and right click again and this time I'll choose property. When I choose property, I see the name of the design. I see the date it was modified, the size, and I chose inches and under option. I see the stitch count, the sew time, and the number of color changes and colors. Now you'll notice that you can view down below looking at the number of color changes or you can see it in the number of color view which will show you the total count of the colors. We'll go back and change it back to color, color changes and choose close. The other thing that you can do is you can convert this. So if we wanted to convert this to another format and I'll choose EXP and I want to have it go in the same folder, I'll choose Convert. You'll scroll down to the bottom of the folder and you'll find that design in the EXP. The first thing you're going to notice is the colors are very funny. That's why the PES is more desirable than one of the other formats. But depending on the machine that you have, you may need to have this EXP format. I'll select it here and if I want to delete it, I can right click and choose delete. 
The next thing that I want to show you is how to copy the designs and move them. So to do that, the first thing I want to do is to open up another folder and I need to locate it. It's on my hard drive and we'll choose this folder right here that's an ABC folder. If I want to copy this design because it's on my hard drive and I'm copying it to a folder on my hard drive, I need to hold down the control key. When I do that, I'll have to hold the control key key down first and now I'll click on it and I'll drag it to that folder. You notice it's still in this folder. If I want to select some other files and I'll select this little bird, I'll hold down the control key and select these two as well and I'll drag this to the, the ABC folder and now let's see what we have. You'll notice that I have a couple of those. I missed one of them. But what I've made are copies of those designs in this folder rather than moving it to the folder. Let's go back and this time let's move a design from one folder to the other. So we'll go back to the 2500 designs and we'll go back to the birds. And since we already have that bird there, we'll choose one that we don't have and we'll choose this little uh, blue jay right here. If I want to move this design that's on the same, same drive, what I need to do is select it and then I'll just drag it over. Now it will no longer be in my 2500 design folder, but it's over here in the ABC. Now obviously I want to move it back. So you'll notice there's not an edit undo. That's one thing to keep in mind here. So I'll go ahead and select this again and I'll locate my 2500 bonus designs and I'll drag it back down to the birds. Now let's go back to the birds and you'll see it there. When you copy designs and you copy them to a USB stick, You'll select a design and you'll drag it over to your USB stick. When you do that, it makes a copy. If you really want to move it, you would choose the shift key. Now, one thing that I also want to show you, and we'll go to another folder for that. So we'll choose my ABC folder that I had a moment ago. Let's say that what I want to do is rename this little file here that has the eaglet. I need to go to a display view and I, first of all I need to see which design it was because I cannot remember. And it was the BDP 012 or 012. So we'll go to the display view. We'll select it and we need to click it one more time. You'll notice it has a box around it. And so now if I wanted to call this Eaglet, E-A-G-L-E-T, I believe, I've now renamed that file. So this gives you a quick idea about how to select files and move files within PE Design design database. The last thing that I want to show you before we end this video is how to create a folder. You can create a folder within the software by selecting a folder and then going to File and Create New Folder. When you do that it will drop down to the next available place and we'll just call this Design Database example. Now if I want to delete that folder, I cannot do that here. Normally you would think you could take it, you could rename it here, but I cannot delete it. To delete this folder, what I need to do is go into my Explorer. I'll select the um, file folder that I was in. I think that was under my documents. And I'll look for my embroidery files. And then we'll locate that folder. 
and now I can right click and choose delete or I could have selected delete on my keyboard when we go back over here to look it still shows up in my folder listing and what I need to do is go to display and choose refresh I hope this video has been helpful to you. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you and have a good day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to them.